Well, here's some advice on how to safely navigate through those dog days of summer. Joining me today is medical expert and emergency room physician, Dr. Vincent Aletto. Thank you for joining us today. Good morning. We're going to talk about three major points today in the summer. It's hyperthermia, food poisoning, and burns. But first, let's start with heat stroke and heat exhaustion and really the difference between the two and how to prevent it. Sure. Heat exhaustion is something where your body isn't cooling off. The same thing with the heat stroke. It's just not cooling off. With heat exhaustion, you haven't yet reached the 105 degree temperature. You're usually 103, 104. You're feeling a little dizzy, a little nauseous nauseated, you're feeling tired, you might be sweating, you might not be sweating, you need to get out of the heat, you need to cool yourself down, you need to drink lots of fluids. Heat stroke is another story. This is where we're going to 105 degree body temperature and above. This is uh, catastrophic. This needs uh, urgent expert medical care. Uh, people have what we call mental status changes. They're confused, they can't walk, they're not speaking well, uh, you can see them, they're just not acting properly, their face is very red, they are not uh, drink, they're, they're not sweating at all, they haven't been drinking. Uh, this is a medical emergency. How common is this and how often does it happen? If, to the very young and the very old. The elderly take certain medications, interferes with the cooling process of the brain. Uh, the brain uh, cooling process, the hypothalamus, doesn't work as well when you're older. So uh, these people, the elderly, tend to get uh, heat stroke often. It's, it's common. We've seen it a lot in the ER. How do you know? When you're out there in the sun and you're having a good time with family, how do you know if there's an onset of something? You yourself actually may not know. It would be up to one of your family members to look and say, hey, he's acting kind of strange there. Why is he having difficulty walking? He's not speaking properly. And then there's seizures. People will collapse. They will seize from this type of thing. Your brain is actually being boiled. Mm. Wow. That's, that's awful. Let's talk about the barbecues because we're all out there enjoying a fun barbecue at home, right? And absolutely, absolutely. We definitely need safety tips for that. Oh, and everybody, <laughs> I got to tell you, everybody likes to put that lighter fluid on, get that big fire going, leaning over it, even campfires. Flash, inhale that. That's burns down the uh, down the airway. That's particularly bad. But most people get the burns on the hands, the burns on the arms, and really, um, I keep an, uh, just a zinc oxide ointment. And you can get that in any pharmacy. It's the white cream that you see all the um, lifeguards put on their nose, sure. and uh, it's great for burns, small little burns. There's certain areas of the body you need to seek medical attention for. Circumferential burns that go around fingers, uh, if it goes around the joint, if it's in the groin, if it's in the neck, the face. You, you want to seek medical attention for this. Yeah, there These are problem areas. A caveat, too, for guys who are bald. You don't watch out for, you know, stay in the sun too long. That's mm -hmm. correct. This sun panel just absorbs heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> and and we need, need to wear sunscreen. Yeah, and very important. <laughs> now, the body cools off by making the blood circulate close to the skin mm -hmm. because then you sweat and then the cool breeze goes over it and cools down your blood. So very important. If you got someone who's overheated, hypothermic, Mist them down, put them in front of a fan, get it off constricting clothes that's keeping the heat in, and uh, they'll do very well. But for heat stroke, go to the hospital. You need to go to an ER. And as far as burns, some things not to do, put butter. Yeah, to forget stuff the like butter. Well, if you put the butter, Common you'll things. see it boil. It's, you're going to fry your skin. A lot of people <laughs> do that, though. And ice. Don't put ice on it because ice actually extends the damage. It wow. cuts down on the blood circulation. It makes the, the little capillaries squeeze down, and you're not getting all the proteins that are supposed to go to that area to keep it from extending. Let's talk about food poisoning. How can we avoid it? Uh, cook that meat very well. I know everybody they, puts the chicken on, the chicken flares up, and everybody says, oh, this must be done. And then you <laughs> bite it, and there's the red, you know, blood dripping down. Be very careful with that. Uh, nobody, likes, nobody likes a hockey puck. <laughs> Hamburgers yeah. just become hockey pucks. So what I do, this is one of my secrets, um, I take a tomato and I chop it up nice and small, mix it up with my chopped meat, and now you've got a well-done hamburger that's still uh, fairly moist. Okay. Some caveats, too, about potato salad. 
mayonnaise. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, leaving things in the sun too long is just a recipe for disaster. When one gets food poisoning, there's only one of two ways that they can get rid of the toxins, because it's the toxins that are actually causing the illness. And that's you're going to vomit it, you're going to have diarrhea. And again, in the very young, the very elderly, dehydration, it, it, it's, it, it could be devastating and it could lead to hypothermia. <laughs> you know, it's a vicious cycle. Let me take another direction here. We're talking about, uh, throughout the news, Cassie, international uh, uh, attack on drug abuse. Yes. And I, I wonder if that's something that you see in the summer where you have people, you know, uh, uh, using uh, drugs and are out yes. there in the sun exacerbating what is already a problem. Yes, especially the stimulants, cocaine, methamphetamine. They get the body going. They, they put it into a hyperdynamic state, if you will. And, you know, the heat breaks down your muscles. Uh, and as your temperature rises, your muscles break down. Well, those drugs do the same thing. And the next thing you know, with this hypothermia, you're actually killing off your kidneys because your muscles are very large molecules that get stuck in the kidneys. So this is very, very important. Stay away from those drugs. It clouds your judgment. You're not going to realize that you're, you're ill. Thank you so much for sharing all those safety tips with us today. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. It makes we my job easier. Well, it makes my job easier. <laughs> I see less people. All right. That's good. That's good. Thanks, Thank Doug. you so much.